We're back. Um, and good evening to you, Dr. Wu. Hello! It is so good to be here! <laughs> Welcome to the show. We're so glad to have you here. Oh, it's so good to be here. Thank you so much for having me. I am Dr. Wolf. Yes, you may have heard of me. I am Dr. Wolf. I am a well-known worldwide sex columnist and sex advice giver. <laughs> That's right. And we are really blessed to have you with us. And it's great that you... Before we go any further, before we go any further, I have to ask you. <laughs> I have to ask you. That little yes? That little problem that you had that we talked about before we got on the air. <laughs> it's, yeah. re it's really easy to fix. <laughs> Tequila and lube. That's all it takes. Okay. I, thank you so much, Dr. Wu. You're welcome. This is why I'm here. <laughs> and speaking of... Trust me. Lube, trust me. Yettos will appreciate for you. Yettos will appreciate Questions for me? Okay. Yes, yes, from okay. uh, people that are listeners that have sent in questions. Oh, you are prepared. They have, you know, everybody's been excited. Where's that big hunk of man meat of yours? Where did he go? I, he had to step out for a little bit. He'll be, he'll be back. Do you share? No, we don't share. No? <laughs> no. Where's Luke? <laughs> I believe he's all home and comfy with his family. Oh, Luke! <laughs> Luke! <laughs> I'm lonely! <laughs> Luke! Okay, okay, you say you have questions? Yes, we have some questions for you, being that you are the expert that you are. I am. And we have some people from our audience that are regular listeners that have sent me in some questions. The last show I was on didn't have listeners at all. <laughs> That's why I'm not on that show anymore. This question comes from Deb in Texas. Deb? Um, Deb, yeah, Deb from Texas. Okay. Um, her question is, I have... No, Deb, everything's not bigger in Texas. <laughs> go, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Her question is, Dr. Woof, I haven't been a virgin for very, for a very, very long time. So is what is she, weird? five? Is it weird if sometimes intercourse still hurts or is that normal or should I see a doctor? Not that you're not a doctor. So let me see if I understand correctly. And I know that you are just reading this question. That's correct. What she's saying is, is... When she's getting hammered, it hurts. That's what I believe. Yes, in a roundabout way. Deb in Texas, I hope you are listening, okay? I really hope you're listening. Thank the heavens you got a man unlike a horse. <laughs> I had a man one time. I swear, no pick it to my picky. <laughs> He was so, he was so ashamed of it, which he should have been. The first time we had sex, he had, he insisted on turning the lights off, uh, the turning the lights off. <laughs> so he turns the lights off and he put it in my hand. I says, no thanks, I don't smoke. <laughs> so Deb in Texas, be happy you have a man who hurts you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Marie, Marie, can I ask you a question? Yeah. <laughs> Does Yano hurt you like that? <laughs> I'm going to go How with that. How we get to our next question? <laughs> I'm going to go with that a yes, because she won't answer. Okay, go ahead. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My, I don't know what's so funny. Go ahead. <laughs> The next question is from Heather in New York. Heather in New uh, York. Heather in New York, yes. As I've gotten older, why has it become so much more difficult to have an orgasm during intercourse when in the missionary position? It never used to be that way. Talk to me, Dr. Ruth. Heather, the problem is, is you're not hanging out with the men that Deb's hanging out with. <laughs> Seriously, if you are having problems getting an orgasm 
in 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 any sexual position, dump the fucker, uh, dump the man you with. Because <laughs> if he don't know how to work the equipment, trust me, honey, the older you get, the worse they get. <laughs> You so you do realize there's a shelf life on a hot dick, right? <laughs> it don't stay hot forever. <laughs> I suggest, Heather, what you need to do, you need to go find yourself a horny college kid. <laughs> Hire him as a handyman, the boy, rake your leaves, lube your tires, something. And seduce his young little pupply ass. <laughs> you have an orgasm. Thank you so much, Dr. Wolf. I'm sure that will be very helpful to her. I okay. can damn right it'll be helpful. The problem is, Marie, <laughs> the problem is, is, is my advice is no good if I don't follow it. <laughs> That's so true. I mean, if you're not going to follow it. The fuck Would you, you call me for? More... <laughs> Would you be able to take another question? I got time. I got all the time in the world. Okay, great. I have a question from Estelle in North Carolina. And she asks, is it odd I prefer my vibrator over my husband's penis? How do I get him to put more action into sex? <laughs> Stick a deep battery up his ass and <laughs> flip the picture. A dick doesn't vibrate. <laughs> Honey, I gotta tell you, there is not a dick in this world attached to a real man that vibrates. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I tell you, I know the vibrators are the greatest things on the planet. They were, okay? They were. Oh, have they ruined sex for women. Just because I own 27 of them. Um, oh, Marie, Marie, I gotta ask you. Marie, yes. do you want a vibrator? <laughs> be honest. Be honest with Dr. Woof. Do you own a vibrator? Dr. Woof, I can honestly say that I have another question. Would you be able to take another question? <laughs> you know that denial is not just a river in Egypt, right? <laughs> okay, another um, question. <laughs> did I answer Heather's question? I I believe you did. Okay. You were trying to establish the difference between the two, right? Have the man rub your clit. Rub your own damn clit. <laughs> Take responsibility for your own fucking orgasms. <laughs> Help him out. He's just a man for God's sakes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Okay. okay, my next question comes Hello. from comes from Joan in Florida. I know a Joan. She doesn't live in Florida, though. <laughs> <laughs> I am thirty six years old and never use sex toys. I feel like I'm missing out. Help! Am I missing out? Heather, you find out you ain't missing a fucking thing. <laughs> Actually, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Honestly, I love my sex toys. I have <laughs> I have twenty seven vibrators. <laughs> I have vibrators that sing, "Oh, come all ye faithful." <laughs> I have a vibrator that makes my coffee for me in the morning <laughs> and gives me the cream because I gotta have a little cream in my coffee. If you know what I'm saying. I know you know what I'm saying, Marie. You told me you like cream in your coffee, too. <laughs> I can see your cup now. You got cream in your coffee. I think we is it, speaking of different kinds. Is that, the, is that that new wolf cream I've been hearing about? <laughs> I wanted to give me some of that, but you said no. So, to answer, what was with Joan in Florida? Joan, yeah. this is what you need to do. If you're too scared to go into one of them Sex shops. <laughs> Go online and search vibrator. There are many reputable companies out there you can buy a vibrator from. I'm going to suggest your first one, the silver bullet. 
it goes along with what you and Yanos are talking about. So hush, young lady. It's the silver bullet. And what you do with the silver bullet, it's a little, it's a little silver thing, and you just sit there, you lay there, and you spread your legs wide open, and you spread, you put oh, that right on your God. clit, and you go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Remember, dicks don't vibrate. <laughs> so don't expect a man to do that. Thank you so much, Dr. Wu. You're welcome. Now, I have one last question. Would only one more? Only one more? I have time. I got the rest of the night. You only got one more? I have one more. Okay. Our, our last question comes from Marsha in Rhode Island. Have you ever been to Rhode Island? Marsha from Rhode Island, yes. Not Marsha. Have you ever been to Rhode Island? Have I ever been to Rhode Island? Yes, I have, actually. Have you? What's it like? I've never been there. It's very nice. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Do they have... My family that lives there. Really? Do they have, yeah. do they have orgy clubs in Rhode Island? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> do they have orgy clubs where you're from? <laughs> no, not that I know of. I, maybe, I, but not that I know of. I'm not. I'm not advocating orgies. I'm not. Okay. Sex should be. <laughs> sex should be between two consensual adults. Mm-hmm. That's just. This, I believe this. I'm all for sex. I love sex. We know this. I love sex. But sex should be between two consensual adults. Now, if you happen to be having sex in front of a group of people, that's okay. I was just curious. Okay. What do we got? Who in Rhode Island? This is Marsha from Rhode Island. Marsha, Marsha, um, Marsha. And her, this, she, her problem is, I've been married for 12 years, and my husband and I are rarely having sex anymore, and it's sad. I worry I'm not attractive to him anymore. How can I spice it up in the bedroom? <sighs> <sighs> Marsha. I get this question all the time. <laughs> Marie just asked me a few minutes ago. I get this question all the time. I'm kidding. She didn't. Her, her and Yanos are, 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 are I, I don't know. They're the freaky couple. <laughs> but I get this question all the time from women all over the world. My husband doesn't find me attractive anymore. We don't have sex anymore. What can I do? What can I do? And if none of the other answers that I've given tonight, anybody pays any attention to, I want everybody to pay close attention to the answer I'm giving to this because this is a very serious problem in this country. Sex is important. Sex is important to maintain a healthy relationship, a healthy, strong, committed relationship. Sex is very important to it. Mm-hmm. I would agree. It is the most intimate thing that two people can do together. Would you agree with me? Absolutely. Okay, so sex is a very, very important of a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. When a woman comes to me and says, Dr. Woof, <laughs> my husband and I don't have sex anymore. What can I do? Mm-hmm. I, what I, can she do? I, I take her by the shoulders <laughs> and I look her in the eye. I get close. I my nose nose to nose with her. I go <laughs> I go, honey, do you take it in the pussy? Do you what? Do you take it in the p- <laughs> <laughs> Now that is not the key. That is not the key. Because if she says yes, I say no 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 no. That's where you went wrong. That's where you went wrong. The key to spicing up your love life, mm-hmm. to having a good, clean, dirty love life with your man or your woman, change where you have sex. This is a typical day in America. So like in the living room? In the living room, in the kitchen, in the yard, go to the <laughs> park, have sex in the car. In the car? In the car. This is a typical day. You both work, you come home, you're tired, you have dinner, you sit in front of the TV, you go to bed. If you feel like it, maybe you have sex. Were you having sex? In bed. There's nothing wrong with sex in bed. On Saturday night, this is what I want you to do. What was her name? Joan? No. Marsha. Marsha in Rhode Island. 
My shit, this is what I want you to do. Tomorrow night, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get all dressed up. Hot. Smoking hot. You know what I'm talking about. Walk with that sexy attitude. <laughs> you, Marie knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can tell me by whether she's laughing. <laughs> so she has to doll herself up? No, 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 no. I'm not saying doll herself up. I'm saying exude sexuality. However you can do that. But here's the key. Here's the key. Don't wear no panties. <laughs> Don't wear no panties. You're going to feel sexier. <laughs> and while you are out with your man, because you're going to drag him out. If you got to drag him by his testicles, you're going out tomorrow night. <laughs> if you have to reach down in between his legs and grab his testicles and say, bitch, we going out. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to go out. And then you're going to do whatever you're doing. And then a little bit way through the night, you're going to lean in and you're going to go, honey, I ain't wearing no panties. <laughs> let's, let's go find a place to have sex right now. I want you. I guarantee you your sex life will light up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's so the key. Definitely change things up. Change things up. You have, to, you have to be imaginative. It's like everything else. It can get stale. It can get boring. It is up to you. It is up to both of you. To, to come up with interesting and exciting things to do. It doesn't need to involve corkscrews and donkeys. It just needs to be something different than the normal routine that you're in. So take a chance. Be crazy. Grab his dick while you're eating dinner. <laughs> Grab it and say, I want this for dessert. <laughs> Reach over and give him a blowjob while he's driving. Wear a skirt and lean back in the car. In the car. Don't do this in the restaurant. Lean back in the car and spread your legs and let it skirt and, and show him. Be, be, be excited. Exude sexuality. If you do that, I guarantee you, your sex life will improve. And if that don't work, if that don't work, divorce the motherfucker. <laughs> that doesn't sound like good advice. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I ain't sticking around with no man who don't want to have sex. Are you? <laughs> if if you don't if you don't want to stop having sex with you, would you stay? Hell no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Act like anything different. <laughs> well, Doctor Woof, it certainly was a pleasure having you with us. It was tonight. a pleasure being here. Can I come back? I was just going to ask you that if you would come back and see us again sometime, because I know just by the response that we have had by people submitting these questions that you can really help a lot of our listeners it would be great if i have been doing this for so long i absolutely love helping people it's what i truly believe is my calling on this earth i would be more than happy to come back however next time when i come back you have to be more open <laughs> you have to answer a few questions of mine but dr Ruth. One thing is, I'm the one that asks the questions, too. I'm the bossy one. I'm a therapist. I'm a therapist. I have to ask questions to get answers to give answers. <laughs> Dad, you know I'm right. <laughs> I'm not answering. <laughs> it has been a pleasure, Miss Marie. <laughs> I say, <clears throat> I really enjoyed our conversation, and I'm so thankful Please come back and see us soon. You have your people talk to my people and I will come back. That sounds great. I and you give that idea. big old hunk of man meat a hug and a kiss for me. I Sque sure will. Squeeze his tushy too. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. I will see you later. Thank you, Dr. Wu. Thank you. Well, wasn't she awesome? What a great great help she is to so many of our listeners and she will be coming back to visit us from time to time and i just wanted to let you know that if you have any questions that you would like to submit to dr Wu, you are welcome to send them over to me marie three whispers in world or you can reach me on facebook marie three whispers you can also send it to the website, the Spreaker website, if you have a question that you would like to ask. And thank you so much. And um, sure, Yamas will be coming back anytime soon. Hmm. Hey, 
How was it? Hey, welcome back. Uh, Boy, what did you miss? I, was I what did I, what did I miss? What did I miss? Give you a squeeze. Oh, that woman is crazy. She is. She's a she lot. Is. She's a trip, though. I've I've had to talk to her a couple of times this week, and and you know, making sure we had all the the eyes dotted and the T's <laughs> crossed for her to be on the show. Her people are. Oh wow! I tell you what, I think they're all lawyers. Well, yeah, we can't ask this. We can't else, talk about. Right? <laughs> she is a trip, isn't she? She sure is. <laughs> she is. She is so much fun. But she's, I mean, she's so smart too, and she knows what she's talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm so I'm I'm upset I missed her. I'm 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 upset I missed her. You would never know that she's only four foot two. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's it's a little little it's thing, a little teeny tiny thing. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Um. And so your conversation with her went well. It went very well. Good, I'm she glad. took some questions from some of our listeners. Oh, we had questions for her, so it wasn't just you interviewing her. We actually had questions for her. We did. We oh, had some legitimate great. questions for her cool. too. About I, and that's uh, awesome. She did give a brief description of her profession, and you know, being a therapist and oh, helping she's, couples. She's been doing this for forty years, I think, or something like that. Something like that's that. All, it's been yeah, a long time. It's been a yeah. long time. She's uh, she's world renowned and written several books, and yeah, yeah. it's absolutely amazing. So yeah. yeah. She helped a couple of people out with some very good advice. Yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear it. Uh, listen, you've been going for like a half an hour now. You want to take a break really quick and we can come back and then we can do our review of the Underworld movies and then wrap this one up? That sounds great. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I Well, and, and I'm going to tell you what. I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do secretly. I'm going to go back and I'm going to listen to the segment because I didn't hear it while we're listening to music. So we'll be back <laughs> in about seven minutes. Be right back. Okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> 